What's oh, your yeah. go-to impression? Mm. Oh, my tr- I've been working on my trunk. It's a lot of great people. Lots of great people <laughs> on both sides. That's, excuse, excuse me, excuse me. Fake reviews, fake reviews, fake reviews. Look how it happened, baby. <laughs> Yo, man, oh, you know we're cooking, so, we're cooking. Yeah. I told you, man, back at that time, man, young, hungry, and now look at us. There's a reason we even ran into each other. All right, guys, so we got to talk about Jamie Foxx, an actor that is extremely, extremely, extremely talented. Probably one of the most talented individuals that I've ever seen. I mean, the guy is like a comedian. He's an actor. He's a singer. Um, right. I mean, he does some of everything. OK, I mean, the guy, again, is one of the most talented individuals that I've ever seen. Um, and he went missing. OK, he went missing after allegedly suffering a stroke okay uh and this happened i'm not sure if he was on set or when exactly happened how it happened or why it happened we really don't know but basically he was in the middle of filming a new netflix movie uh that he's doing with cameron diaz and um again apparently he had some type of health scare okay now he was hospitalized in chicago at their center that specializes in stroke and traumatic brain injuries and a whole lot of speculation started to occur in regards to why this happened, okay? People were saying that maybe he suffered a blood clot. Uh, I saw an interview uh, with Michael Jai White in which, you know, he claimed that uh, Jamie Foxx may have had some cholesterol issues, allegedly. Um, some people saying that, you know, this occurred after he, you know, got vaccinated and he may have had some complications from it in which they denied. Okay. His team came out and denied that that was the case. Uh, again, this was just a very mysterious and strange situation because nobody was saying anything about it. Okay. I mean, there was deafening silence in regards to the, uh, status of Jamie Foxx, his health and what happened to the guy. I mean, he just seemed to have disappeared off the planet. And that's not something that we usually see from what appears to be a young and relatively uh, healthy actor, okay? He's not super overweight. He looks like he's in good shape. But then again, you never know what these Hollywood actors, you know, if they're doing any type of drugs or anything like that on the side. So we just didn't really know, okay? We had no clue what was happening. He had been missing since April, and some people even went as far as to speculate that he was basically about to kick the bucket, okay? That he may be about to die okay i mean i i legitimately thought that at one point i was like well we haven't really seen anything from the guy we haven't heard anything from him i mean something serious must be going on here um but again there were reports that hey you know he's fine he's okay he's just not speaking he's not talking right he's not you know really saying anything up until now okay in which he is speaking out and he's giving us an update on his health and uh i want to go ahead and, and play this clip because um you know it thank god that he's okay right and uh, i'm glad he's speaking out and he's going to clear things up for us in regards to some of the speculation about uh his apparent health emergency let so let's go ahead and get into it first of all i want to say thank you to everybody that's prayed man and sent me messages i cannot even begin to tell you um how, how far it took me and how how it brought me back um uh, I went through something that I, I thought I would never ever go through. Uh, and I know a lot of people were waiting, you know, or wanting to hear updates, but to be honest with you, I just didn't want you to see me like that, man. You know, I want you to see me laughing, having a good time, partying, cracking a joke, doing a movie, television show. I didn't want you to see me with, uh, with tubes, um, uh, you know, that's completely understandable, right? Like, I actually really do understand that, like, you know, you don't want to be seen basically in your weakest moment, okay? When, you know, you're in the hospital bed, you got tubes in your mouth, like, you just don't look good. You look, you know, like you're in terrible shape. Um, I could totally understand why he would want that type of privacy and would not want to speak out or to say anything or to draw attention to himself while he's in that condition. I, I totally understand that running out of me and and trying to figure out uh, if if I was gonna make it through. And to be honest with you, my uh, my sister Deidre Dixon, my daughter Corinne Marie saved my life. So 
uh, to them, to God, to a lot of great medical people. Uh, I'm able to leave you this uh, video. I cannot tell you how great it feels to have your family kick in in such a way. And, and y'all know they kept it airtight. They didn't let nothing out. They protected me. And that's what I hope that everyone could have in moments like these. Uh, now, you know, by being quiet, sometimes things, you know, get out of hand. People saying what I got. Some people said I was, I was blind, but as you can see, uh, as you can see, the eyes are working. The eyes are working just fine. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. I'm not sure if you can call this talent, but I'm not sure how you do that. Right? I don't know how to move my eyes like that. Um, somebody teach me, right? But yeah, I mean, clearly he's in good shape, right? He's in, in, in good uh, spirits, which is great to see. Fine. Uh, said I was paralyzed. I'm not paralyzed. Uh, but I did go through. I went to hell and back. And my road to recovery uh, had some potholes as well, but um, I'm, uh, I'm 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 coming back, and uh, I'm able to work. So I want to thank uh, uh, the people that let me work, um, and I just want to like say uh, I, that I that I, I love everybody, and I love all of the love that I got. And man, you know, I know they talk about people crying on videos. You know, you can do take two, but I'm not going to do a take two. This is, it is what it is. And if you see me out uh, from now on and every once in a while, I just burst into tears is because um, it's been tough, man. I was sick, man. But now I got my legs out, uh, under me, so you're going to see me out. Uh, but like I said, I just want you to remember me for uh, the jokes that I crack, uh, the, the movies that I make. Some of them good, some of them ain't. I think I got a good one out. Uh, and the songs that I sing, man. And then, you know, some people were talking about I'm a clone. Well, check this out. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh, not clone, man, but I'm here on earth because of some great people. I'm here on earth because of God, man. So I love all y'all. Uh, I just wanted to jump on here and let you know that uh, I'm on my way back in love. Well, you know, because it's the internet, some people are going to say it's still not real. Maybe he's AI. Okay, this is AI Jamie, right? This is clone Jamie, okay? People still not buying into it, right? I mean, that's, you know, what, you know, some people are implying here, right? Um, you know, the, yeah, who knows, okay? I mean, like this person says, I know he's been sick, but uh, even knowing that his skin looks so odd, it looks like it's lighter and also a little green and almost translucent. I hope he recovers completely soon. Psst, it's not him. Some people are calling him Jamie Foxx, right? Like fake. Uh, this guy says, look CGI, AI produced. Yeah, so I mean, you know, I mean, hey, people can believe what they want to believe. Uh, I personally think there are probably reasonable explanations in regards to how he looks now versus in some of those pictures. One, the lighting in the room, okay? And also what, you know, camera he was recording on, that could uh, have a big difference in regards to what your skin tone looks like. Also, whether or not he has a tan or whether or not he's been outside, okay? I mean, there's a lot of different things, okay? If he's lost weight, then the shape of his head, his jaw could change because he, you know, doesn't have as much fat there or whatever. Like, there's a whole uh, robust amount of explanations for why he looks differently right but again people can believe what they want to believe um i do think that it is weird when these things happen to these celebrities and then like you know everything goes silent and you know nobody can say anything nobody knows anything it reminds me of the damar hamlin situation right i think that uh the silence is what makes people more conspiratorial right it makes people think that there's something more going on here than what is actually really going on uh, because people aren't upfront about what actually happened, right? Jamie still did not tell us exactly what happened to him uh, in that video, which makes people speculate even more in regards to what was what's happening, right? What what actually happened, okay? Like, you know, we, we really don't know. We really don't have a full explanation yet. But hey, you know, I mean, it's his medical privacy. He doesn't have to tell us, okay? I'm not begging him to tell us. I'm just saying if you want to stop the speculation, right, that you're a clone, that you're not real, then maybe you should, you know, 
tell us what happened, right? I don't really see what the big issue is. Um, if he had a stroke, you know, thank God that it doesn't seem to have affected him too uh, much in regards to, you know, his, you know, ability to use his brain or to, you know, articulate his thoughts. Uh, he's much more thoughtful than John Fetterman, who is a sitting senator that suffered a stroke, okay? Um, so, you know, I think he's doing well, right? And I wish him the best in regards to his recovery. Thank God that he's okay. Um, I don't think he's cloned, right? Uh, I just think that he probably looks a little bit different because of the fact that, you know, he suffered a medical emergency and, you know, it does change people physically depending on what, you know, medical emergency you suffer. Uh, maybe it can be the lighting or whatever. Um, extremely talented individual. And uh, I look forward to seeing some of his future <laughs> work. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.